Well, I've been fortunate uh, to showcase my artwork twice with artists and makers. The first time, I don't remember a theme. I think it was just a grand opening and I was a featured artist. And it was during the heart of a pandemic. I remember this. Um, artists and makers were nice enough to make a mini documentary of me when I was barely up and coming. And it was, uh, even when you see the videos, or even old pictures, you see that we're wearing some of the, ma the masks. And to me, that first time showcasing my artwork, that took a unique turn because it was such a chaotic time for not just only me, but for everybody all around the world. And it gave me a positive outlook during such a horrific event. I mean, during that very moment in time. But I was a featured artist and I think it was December 2020. Uh, the last one was about a month and a half ago, I think. And it was my first solo show. Once again, thank you so much to Artists and Maker for everything you guys have done for me. And the theme was Lulu's Arte. Because everybody that knows me knows that I, my name is Javier Valenzuela, but my mom uh, passed away about five years ago, I think. I mean, just time flies. And, um, I dedicate all my artwork and all my, my my artistic skills to her, so I decided to call it Lulu's Arte. So it was my very first show, and and they were more than happy to bring me back and give me my first solo show and just show all my artwork. And yeah, the thing pretty much finally introducing my thing, my thing as to what it is, my artwork, and what pushes me. My favorite part showcasing an artist and makers and have to be just the experience, but because what people don't understand is that I didn't think it was gonna get this far to like say galleries and and just meeting professional artists and artists that have been doing it all their lives. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't have the patience for painting. I had did pencil drawing, but when my mom passed, I really wanted to like just clear my mind and I started painting and it just took a life of its own. And when I first met Britain, I met some of the people and artists and makers that I just love the diversity because I felt like I stole all my entire start from, from being an artist and painting. I was like on the outside looking in and everybody approached me with open arms, um, gave me advice. Um, it was just a wonderful experience because to this day, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of surprised how far it's gone, but how like people have, like professional artists that have done it all their life, how they accepted me with open arms. And to this day, I keep in contact with a lot of them. Um, and it was just, like I said, the diversity, the, the ways that we can learn from each other's culture and yet we don't judge one another. We're just there for the art and just that wholesome experience. So that's been my favorite diversity and, and just, you know, uh, just constantly learning new things and having, um, meeting new people, new artists, so. And my work, well, I used to be good at just pencil drawing. I always had that um, artistic side of me, but I never had the patience for painting. So when the painting came around, I just did. I, I mean, the word, I just did. I actually mean it. I just started blending colors, started doing it, just whatever came out. For the first few times, I really hated my painting because I didn't feel as though I was like living up to the potential of like what other artists would expect from me. And till I started noticing that people were connecting to my artwork. So that kind of led me towards, you know what, I'm doing something good. As for like the approach that I take it or who inspires me, I mean, like I said, I'm still new to this, <clears throat> but I heard some lady actually say that my artwork looks like stained glass because I do like the vibrant colors. I do like mixing a lot of these colors and and I, and I it comes to a point that I, would, I will always paint with dim lighting because when I first started, it was in my room and I had some dim lighting. So I think what, what ended up happening by accident is that I was forcing the colors 
So when it hit the light, surprise, surprise, like it was so bright, but my, I wasn't trying to make it as bright, but I think it just took a life form of its own. But, you know, as more I approach this technique and the way I paint, um, I, I think in, I've already come to the terms that, you know, what color is my path. And so I tend to do everything as bright as I can.